like like uh, like toes. Yep. And he blessed the water in here. Uh huh. Then he is sprinkling the people. Oh. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy. Good morning. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome back. So today is um, the third day of Ethiopia and we are leaving Bahardar. We're going to be going to um, Gondor. We're going to be actual, we're actually going to be ride driving. We're not flying this trip. So plan for today is we are going to go three hours to Gondor. And I have no idea what we're going to be doing in Gondor as yet, but I'll keep you updated. I'll take you along with me. I hope you've been enjoying Ethiopia this far. So we're finally and we finally entered into Gondor. It's very mountainous. Yeah, finally, right? Finally. The streets of Gondor were nothing as I expected. They were so clean and well paved. Sorry, America. This is what a typical city in Africa looks like. Gondor is such a bustling city. We saw many vendors just going about their daily business. So full of life and vitality. I loved it. So our first stop in Gondor is to visit the Emperor Fascinated Bath and Horse Cage. So apparently um, every January 19, People come here from all the 94 churches in this region and they swim before being baptized. So come with me and let's see what's inside. Hi! Hello, Salam! Alright guys, so behind me is uh, the residence of Emperor um, Felicides. Now he actually built this residence as a second residence, but now every January 19, a big service is held here called an Epiphany. They fill this with water, all around with water, so it becomes a very big pool and people swim in it before they get baptized. And they do this to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. Another interesting fact is that inside, um, in the most holy place, and the monastery that we saw yesterday, there's, an, there's a, um, a replica of the Ark of the Covenant. Of course, we can't see because all the monks and priests are able to go inside. Okay, so let's take a walk <laughs> around the pool. <laughs> this thing is massive. Yeah, yeah. Very amazing. This is how many um how many of water. how many how many days you say it takes to fill two weeks two, two weeks. weeks yeah look the bishop coming here the, I will show you the, the bishop the bishop, bishop walks up here, here. He, 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 he and he blessed the water in here uh huh then he is sprinkling the people oh he comes around and sprinkles everybody and yeah. then you jump in yeah after that boys and girls. Jump in So you have to know how to swim in order to do this. You cannot uh, a person that cannot swim. You can't. You can't jump. Yeah. Right. Because so ahead is a carriage, a horse cage, and inside the cage, the horse is buried. His name is Zobel, and apparently he was like a very brave horse during war. So the emperor really loved him. So he made sure that he built a special grave for him. That's so interesting. 
So this is a closer shot of it. And guess what? He didn't when his wife died, he didn't build a special special structure for her. So I guess he thought the horse had more value than his wife. According to Claire, what do you say, Claire? Claire said nothing. Trifling <laughs> tail. <laughs> After that long drive and all that walking, we were starving, so we went to this restaurant. Yeah, the Four Sisters restaurant. You eating with us today? Yes. Okay. This is a lady from Polisha. Okay. On the menu too, there's fried banana, chickpea, cooked vegetable, lentil. Along with lentils, rolls, and different spices. For the second portion of the meal, I got some spaghetti, with, um, spaghetti with tomato sauce, some spicy lamb stew, spicy minced beef, some vegetable rice, and two rolls. Let me see if I like this. I'm not a beef person, but let me try this. Mmm. I'm gonna try this lamb stew. Lamb stew isn't bad. Mm -hmm. All right, later I'm going to dig in. We went to his, um, his second home earlier, so then get to look for his castle. pedestals here are actually the gates it was destroyed by the um, by the Italians before they were um, run out of the country so this is the entrance into the palace or the com royal compound there are three castles in the royal compound yes. the first one was by the father the second one was built by the son. by the son and the third one was built by the grandson. Okay, so let's go inside to Aleva, the head of Fassel's castle. Um, let's go see what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so this building that you're looking at is the first archive of Ethiopia. They had lots of books and different things. Some of them now are in the museum and some are in monasteries and others were stolen by Europeans. There's so much history for you to learn and embrace in Gondor. If you ever come to Ethiopia, Gondor should be on your list of places to visit. You won't regret it.